All right, Jeb. <clears throat> I can tell you, Rusty. Just going to need more and more reps. We'll get you there. Don't get discouraged. Now, when you start your load, you know, it's kind of hard to see what your trigger mechanism is. You know, that a trigger is something that your body does to let you know that you're you're going. You know, it's like you see that little wobble right there at the very beginning. You know, it's kind of like your knee comes into your other knee and just a it's just a little bit. And you watch your your the knee it's knee towards the pitcher. See that little move right there? That's your you know, that's your your trigger to start your load. Now what I want to do is I want to make it a little bit more in rhythm, a little larger. It's like turning the volume up on a radio, you know. Just got to get used to it. Now you look at the guy on the, on the left here. He has a little bit of a trigger mechanism himself. You can see what he does to start a load. Uh, he just picks his heel up. That's one way of doing it. You know, you get in that stance right there and you, you pick your heel up a little bit. Right there, you kind of picked your foot up and went towards third base. But, you know, we're, we're going to work on that this week. We're going to work on your load to get it more, um, I think, something you'll be happy with. Part of being a good hitter is having good motor skills and being confident. As you can see, he's already loaded. He's keeping his weight back. I want you to see what older boys are doing, okay? You're going to be you'll be able to go back and look at this video, and you can compare. Uh, look look at the load that he's doing right there. Also, you know you you've got to make sure that you keep your front side down and your back side you know tall, because what's happening is you're you're throwing that hoop again, and you know until you start understanding what that means, um, your swings are going to look like that. So. <clears throat> We'll talk more about that this week. You've got to practice your swing without the ball coming at you. Now, when the ball is up in the air like that, you've got to get your front elbow up a little bit. <clears throat> but it can't come up when the ball is down in the zone. It's got to stay, front elbow has got to stay down. And it should have stayed down on that one. See, your backside is collapsing. Your side that's closest to the catcher is. It's just going down, and you. I, anytime I can see the top of your helmet when you swing, that's telling me right there that you're going down, okay? 